Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single week. And again, it doesn't matter which sport you're betting on. We have all the tools here for you to help you win. So if you're not already a member, please join and you will become a VIP member and have access to all these great tools to help you make your picks. So we're going to be talking about the NHL for this week. And with the schedule resuming, the teams are fighting to position themselves for the playoffs, which are coming up shortly. So we have games on August the 3rd that we're going to be talking about here. We have six games on tap, so let's take a look at them right now. So if we scroll down through here the list of games, you will see we're going to start with the New York Rangers and the Carolina Hurricane. So you can see the Rangers right now are ice cold down. They have lost four out of their last six games. Carolina is average down. They have lost three out of their last six games. The Rangers come in having won all four games between the teams this season. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, that will indicate it. You see that the Rangers with four wins by 5-2 to two score, 5-3, to 3-2, three, three to two, and 4-2 to two margin. Right now, the Carolina is the favorite in this one, a home favorite. You can see that their status now is averaged down, and the Rangers are ice cold down. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you see Carolina is on the upward trend. They are at plus 23, while the Rangers are down here at plus 12. Carolina has a 38-39-5 record, while the Rangers are 37-33-5. If you look at the totals predictor, if you're considering betting the over-under in this one, you can see that the Rangers are trending in games playing over the line. And Carolina is, un is also over the line, so playing the over is a smart bet in this one. You want to see how stable the two teams are, according to how well they're performing, according to their favorite underdog status. If you take a look here, neither one is particularly stable. Carolina at plus four, the Rangers at plus one. So take a look take their favorite underdog stats a little bit with a grain of salt in this one i think carolina should come away with a win being the home favorite in this matchup so we'll go down to the next game here we have the winnipeg jets and the calgary flames you see right now winnipeg is burning hot they have won five out of their last six calgary is averaged down they have lost their last two and winners of three out of their last six <clears throat> Um, the teams are coming in with nearly identical records. Winnipeg is 37, 34, and 6, while Calgary is 36, 34, and 7. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you can see that Winnipeg has won two out of the last three meetings in relatively low-scoring games, the last one in an overtime shootout. If you look at the power ranking indicator, See, Calgary has dropped to plus 13 after up to plus 24. And Winnipeg is at plus 24. If you look into bet on the over and under, you can see that Winnipeg is playing in games trending under the line. If you take a look at Calgary, they're playing in games trending over the line. So generally, when they're on opposite sides of the line, I would avoid betting the over and under. Let's we'll see how stable the two teams have been. How well are they performing to, according to their favorite and underdog status? Calgary is at plus 8, and Winnipeg is at plus 4, so both teams are relatively stable. You see, in this game here, the Calgary is the home favorite, so I look for them to take care of business at home and come away with the win in this one. Now let's take a look at Washington and Tampa Bay. If you look at Washington, in Tampa Bay, both teams are average at the moment. Washington has won three out of their last six, and Tampa Bay has also won three out of their last six. You can see that Tampa Bay is a slight favorite in this one. If you look at the odds, 2.312 to 2.790. Both teams are coming in with very good records. The Capitals are 41, 28, and 8, and the Lightning are 43, 27, and 6. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that Tampa Bay is at plus 25 compared to plus 20 for Washington. If you're considering the over and under, well, look at this. Washington is playing in games trending over, as is Tampa Bay. So here's a very good opportunity to win some money by betting the over. So this should be a high-scoring and entertaining contest. How stable are the two teams? Take a look here. 
Washington is not very stable, so take their their uh, favorite underdog status with a grain of salt before you bet strictly because of that. Tampa Bay, on the other hand, is very stable at plus 14. So overall, I think the Lightning will handle business at home, and they will win this game high scoring, but maybe taking overtime to do so. Dallas at Vegas. This is probably the, the game of the day. Dallas comes in with the dead stats, and, no, and they've lost their last six. Vegas is burning hot. They have won four out of their last six. But these two teams are very evenly matched, actually. Dallas comes in with a 37-28-8 and eight record, and Vegas enters with a 39-32-8 and eight record. You see that Vegas is the home favorite by 2.35 odd to 2.860 odd. Look at the power rankings indicator. You see Vegas with the upward trend at plus 28, and Dallas is at plus 13. Polls predictor. You see that Dallas is playing in games trending under the line. The red compared to blue. As is Vegas, the red compared to the blue. So expect a defensive battle here, and I would bet the under in this one. How stable are the two teams? Again, we take a look at the uh, team volatility oscillator. Vegas is relatively stable at plus 11. Dallas, not so much at plus 2. They were up at plus 5. Now they have dropped to plus 2. So take that into consideration before placing your bet. I expect a low scoring game. Um, I think Vegas will come out on top, maybe by one or two goals. It might be a you know one nothing, two nothing shutout, you know maybe two to one or three to one, but it won't be much more than that. Montreal at Pittsburgh. The Penguins have won two out of three against the Canadians this season. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, you will see that they've won the last two, four to one, and three to two in an overtime shutout, while. Montreal won on the road in the first meeting by a 4-1 to score way back in last December. Right now, the Canadians are ice cold down. They have lost their last four. Pittsburgh is averaged down. They have lost three out of their last four and are 3-3 three and three over their last six. Montreal comes in with a 31-40-9 record for the season, and Pittsburgh is 40-29-6. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see Pittsburgh here is at plus 19. Montreal is at plus 3. So there's a wide difference in, in that category. If you're considering the over and under, look at Montreal playing in games trending well over the line. Pittsburgh also playing in games trending well over the line. So it's a really good, probably very, very safe bet to bet the over in this one. Expect a high scoring game. This should be another one of those entertaining contests for those that like a shootout. Pittsburgh, I think, should walk away with the victory in this one as they are a big fair of 1.96 odds to 3.40. Now we go to Chicago and Edmonton. If you take a look at this matchup here, the Blackhawks are burning hot at the moment. They have won their last two and four out of their last six. Edmonton has won three out of their last six. They are average status at the moment. If you look at the power ranking indicator, Edmonton has a plus 20 to plus 10 advantage in that category. Chicago has been playing better lately, though, as you see there on the upward trend. Head to head, you can see that Chicago won the last meeting. And in fact, they have won uh, two out of three for this season over Edmonton. You look at the volatility oscillator. Let's see how well they're performing according to their status for favorite or underdog. Take a look at this. Edmonton is at minus four. So really, really look at that carefully. In fact, don't really pay attention at all to their favorite underdog stats because they're not performing consistently according to that at all. Chicago performing a bit better in that category at plus six. So looking over this, we do see that Edmonton's a favorite. Again, they're not performing consistent as a favorite or as an underdog. And Chicago is a hot team right now. So I'm looking for a bit of an upset here, perhaps, and looking for Chicago to continue the upward path and their season dominance over the Oilers and come away with a win in this one. So you can see those are all the, the games for this week. So once again, if you're not already a member, please join up. As I scroll back to the top of the page here, you will see that there are many different tools here that you can use in order to make your picks. 
So there you have it. Enjoy the games this weekend, and we'll see you next time, and hope you win big.